All right, here's our second Trader Joe's haul. I purchased a, another gallon of milk, and these I'm taking to work, so I didn't purchase those today. But we're already over halfway through one of the two gallons that I bought on Saturday, so I figured I bought, I'd buy some more. I got some plain bagels. I don't know why. I was kind of in the mood for something like that. Some pita chips and some pita chips. The garlic and parmesan are so good. And I actually really like the plain ones, so some more pita chips. I got one of the new peanut butter and jelly milk chocolate bars, and I gave one to my coworker. And he said that despite them being raspberry instead of what you would think of like grape jelly or strawberry, they were really good. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I'm not usually a big candy bar fan, but I got two boxes of these the other day because I was so excited. I was like, why doesn't Trader Joe's do a goldfish cracker type thing? <clears throat> Especially because Aldi's already does them. They have the Cheddar Sharks. And I was so excited they did a nerdy version. Like, how cool is that? So I already bought two boxes. We've already gotten in one. Um, so I bought another one because who knows how long they're going to be around. I got some canola spray because I'm getting a little low. And then I bought some General Sow... I, I always have trouble pronouncing that for some reason. Stir fry sauce. Because um, I've got some stir fry beef in the freezer. So I'm going to defrost that and we're going to do beef stir fry this weekend. Or next week, I guess, because I don't have the kids this weekend. I got a cinnamon sugar grinder. I've heard a lot about these, and I thought we might as well give those a shot. Another one, too, but it must be in the other bag. Um, peanut butter and oat bars. I've got the brownie ones, and they are delicious. And then I usually keep, that's what these are here for, too. I usually keep a box or two of uh, food in my cube. Um, again, I don't really eat lunch, but medication I've been on um, and antibiotics I've been on. Sometimes I need to put something in my stomach. Um just because I start feeling all kind of twitchy. So I'm going to bring these two and this bar, it's a fig, um, and this to work. I've still got a little bit of the brownies, and i still got some of the chocolate chip granola ones, so I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, some variety. And I got some women's formula multivitamin mineral. I've got some vitamins. The problem is I need iron. However, I really can't digest iron, so I kind of hover at like right above anemic and that's I mean I could eat steak every day I could take supplements every day The problem is you know during that time of the month my body needs the iron it just doesn't absorb it very well so these are let's see if it'll focus probably not these are ones that you take three a day and so it's actually got 33 percent iron so I'm hoping that maybe if I can kind of just do one, it won't affect me too badly um, and hopefully take care of that issue because otherwise, you know, I just, I get really hungry. I feel kind of woozy um, and like I keep craving like da dairy and things like that that don't really make any sense. So, um, but what I notice when I do take a regular vitamin, it does help, but then it binds me up like nobody's business. So I had, this was a new product that I hadn't seen before. It's Fresh Brie, and I have some of the plain pita crackers that I had bought last time that I have not cracked into yet. So thought that would be good. And they now have Speculoos cookies. So I bought um, three boxes. <laughs> Thinking about digging into these in a little bit um, with some hot chocolate or something. That sounds delicious, right? Ignore the mess. The kids do this on the table in like a heartbeat. So I got some cream cheese to go with the uh, bagels, of course. And then I've got some of the thinner spaghetti, but I thought I'd get some of the slightly thicker spaghetti instead of the fettuccine. Um, but the kids are really entranced with the thicker noodles now that they're, or the, the longer noodles now that they're getting older instead of, you know, the shorter penne, um, you know, elbows, whatnot. So, and then they only have these periodically, it seems, or thus far. Um, and they're pretty cheap. I normally wouldn't buy oyster crackers, um, but they're good in tomato soup, and I bought tomato soup last time, so why the hell not, right? And I got doo -doo 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 -doo, a couple of these. I don't know, here somewhere. Um, so I got all the flavors they had, basically. I got chocolate chip, honey graham, iced oatmeal cookie, and chocolate brownie, but the kids have to bring snack every day to school, and so I thought these might be a good alternative to the usual stuff. I try to keep them as healthy as possible, but sometimes it's hard to do. 
Bought another can of black olives. Two cans, actually. Um, just to restock what we've used. Here's my other. I got a garlic salt grinder with uh, sea salt, roasted garlic, onion, and parsley. It sounds yummy. And I use a lot of garlic. I got a miso soup udon bowl, which is actually not a Trader Joe's band. But I've been craving miso soup. I haven't had it in years. So I thought I'd give that a whirl. I've heard good things. I got some firm tofu to go with our steak stir fry that we bought the stir fry sauce for. Them. And then something I've not bought at Trader Joe's, believe it or not, because I don't really drink anymore. Um, it seems like the last couple of years, even if I have like a little sip of something, um, I have a really bad he headache and kind of hangover feeling. I drink a lot of water, and I drink a lot of water when I'm drinking. And I'm thinking it's just because I drink so much water that that little bit of dehydrating you know, alcohol is just doing me in. But I loved this bottle. I thought it was gorgeous. It's a Cab Sav. It was $10. I like to cook with wine still. So um, I've got some beef stew, and it's still cold weather. So I thought I'd... Um, or stew meat to make beef stew. So I thought I'd buy some wine and hopefully I can make a stew sometime soon. And usually I end up drinking a little bit of one bottle, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I just really haven't had much alcohol lately because it affects me. And then I got, this is a Shiraz. I love the label. And this one was, I think, $5.99, so not too bad. I didn't go with the super cheap, but I didn't go with the super expensive either. So this is my little haul today. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, <clears throat> let's see. And the grand total was sixty-seven oh six because I had a dollar twenty-four in tax. And let's see. Yeah, the wine was nine ninety-nine and four ninety-nine. Sorry. So that's what we got today. Yay!